slide 33 of 63. I see that I'm uh, almost uh, only have about half an hour left and I'm only at slide 33. We're on slide 33 of 63 now. So I'm going to go very quickly now. Uh, harp and mind control. ELF waves at 60 cycles per second and this is all controlled through HARP and can be used along with other systems cause subjects to become emotionally upset and it can be directed to help incite riots. Slide 34. This is how uh, the controllers of HARP how it is a spiritual war. And this is a map of what you're seeing is a map, according to the research of Dr. Carl Johann Kalaman of the University of Washington, of the mind calendar, which is really a consciousness map. And uh, it's a map of the waves of unity consciousness that are modulated through the singularity in our galaxy which is the black hole at the center of our galaxy. All galaxies have a black hole. The Mayans called the black hole in our galaxy Unabku, sort of the mother of all creation. And the controllers of HARP are intentionally attempt attempting to block the Earth's population from accessing conscious waves of unity consciousness through their upper chakra systems. We all have these kind of silvery cords that go through our crown chakra by using the harp chemtrails mind control system. They're trying to block God or source. That's the purpose of harp. Slide 35, the planetary salt, assault, applications of harp. Slide 36, harp is a space-based weapon of mass destruction. When I say harp, it's the harp chemtrail system because they both act as an integrated weapon system. The death toll of environmental warfare attacks by the HARP chemtrails weapon system on Indonesia 2004, Myanmar 2008, China 2008, Haiti 2010, Chile 2010, and Japan 2011 is on the scale and exceeds that of the Hiroshima nuclear bombing. 37. Official Japanese figure put the Hiroshima death toll finally at 140,000. The death toll in the May 3rd and May 13th harp triggered environmental warfare events in Myanmar and in China. Earthquake respectively total an estimated 215,000, more than 215,000 people. Slide 38. In the harp triggered earthquake and tsunami of 2004, more than 280,000 persons died. It was one of the 10 worst earthquakes in recorded history. And do you remember the victory lap that uh, Bush Sr. and Clinton uh, took around their harp bombing? 39. Slide 39. The estimated death toll for the May 3rd, 2008 weather warfare Myanmar cyclone was about 146,000. The death toll for the May 12th, 2008 China earthquake, we call that the summer Beijing Olympics earthquake because they do it as a psyops around the any Olympics, was uh, it left 4.8 million people homeless, although the number could rise as high as 11 million, and s almost 70,000 people were killed. The uh, harp triggered earthquake, which was like a, you know, a bomb site delivered nuclear weapon of January 12, 2010, that we call the Vancouver 2010 Olympics, um, uh, Winter Olympics, uh, heart bombing, uh, uh, 316 
thousand people died, three hundred thousand were injured, a hundred a million were made homeless. Uh, it was a uh, pinpoint accuracy with a heart bomb. They flattened the uh, patient government, the presidential palace, the National Assembly, the cathedral, the main jail and prison. The objectives were destruction of the Haitian government so that a Rothschild controlled company could obtain petroleum and gold deposits, the rights to petroleum and gold deposits under Haiti. The government of Haiti had been unwilling to allow Rothschild controlled companies to exploit these. Slide number 40. Uh, this is the Japan Fukushima. Um, Nuclear Harp False Flag Operation of March 11th, 2011, which has in effect uh, uh, created a radiation hazard in the oceans and in the atmosphere or the, of the northern hemisphere as a massive depopulation event. Uh, there's a cover-up of this, and uh, you can go to our interviews with independent scientist Lorraine Murray at ecologynews.com. I recommend that um, the uh, Peace and Freedom Party look at uh, Lorraine Murray as an expert in this area that shows how the U.S. and Canadian government have been covering up this intentional assault by ferrying the radiation from Fukushima across the Pacific using HARP's weather warfare capabilities and then dumping it on the U.S. Uh, in tornadoes where rain was discovered in World War II to be the most effective way of nuking the population. Number 44. Um, more of Fukushima. The most targeted areas are the western food baskets in order to radiate and poison future generations of the population and weaken them for the new world order. And both the U.S. and Canada have uh, uh, taken down their radiation monitoring. They have sent physicians orders not to monitor for radiation Fish now on the west coast of North America are unsafe to eat. Uh, and uh, there is a cover-up and no reporting of true radiation levels. I myself spoke to, personally, I called up the office of Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who was supposed to be recommended as Surgeon General under the Obama administration and as the director of medical studies for CNN, chief of uh, medical for CNN. Uh, he was out that day and I spoke to his executive assistant and I recited all these facts, including uh, Center for Disease Control peer reviewed data. And, you know, she just went into denial and refuse to uh, pass on these reports. And the reports included the fact, uh, again, you can go to ecologynews.com, that uh, independent scientist Loren Murray concluded based on CDC data, which was backed up by other in independent researchers, that over 100,000 Unnecessary deaths occurred in the United States in 2011, according to CDC data, because of Fukushima radiation that had been dumped down over the U.S. Slide 46. Um, now we're going to go to slide 47. Uh, the radiation cover-up. Health update, stay indoors. This is according to uh, experts. Stay indoors as much as possible. 
I eat miso soup, and this is what I do, eat miso soup and seaweed and kelp every day, take chlorella uh, every day, and, uh, you know, seek out the best holistic advice online. Now, bio-warfare, harp, chemtrails, and bio-warfare. Uh, quote, uh, January 22nd, 2011, this is slide 48, was the first chemtrails awareness day. Now we have 20% less sun and mostly a blanket artificial clouds filled with toxins. Uh, the catastrophic health effects of manganese, we've mentioned those, hallucinations, forgetfulness, nerve damage, Parkinson's, lung embolisms, bronchitis, schizophrenia, dullness, weak muscles, headaches, insomnia, obesity, glucose intolerance, blood clotting, skin problems, lowered cholesterol, skeletal disorders, birth defects, changes of hair color, neurological symptoms. That is bio-warfare against the population. Chronic respiratory, slide 49, chronic respiratory coronary illnesses and cancer, uh, chemtrails, which are hazmats, ha hazard materials, have created multiple illnesses, dramatic increases in chronic respiratory and coronary illnesses. Coronary illnesses, now the leading cause of death in the U.S., can be traced back to chemtrails. Transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, TSE, and BSE, mad, mad cow disease. And Purdy has documented that a high dose of manganese and the resultant low dose copper may be the cause of BSE and other forms uh, under the no, nomenclature TSE. This also includes the human forms of TSE, Kreuzenfeldt-Jacobs disease, often known as VCJD. And we want to thank, uh, again, our fellow researcher and speaker at this conference, Clifford Carnicum, who said, quote, there is no epidemiology on the number of individuals who have died or become ill because of aerosol spraying chemtrails. And I want to thank uh, Dr. Carnicum for the excellent interviews that he did with me on Exopolitics TV. Um, we have uh, in slide 50, uh, acts of uh, harp chemtrails induced environmental warfare also include the Kobe Japan earthquake of 1995, the two NASA shuttle disasters, the Columbia in 2003, the Challenger in 1986. If you want details, go to ecologynews.com, our interviews and articles there. Uh, they include Hurricane Katrina of 2005 that was steered in just like a video game into New Orleans, where my family is from. I did a, an interview with Governor Jesse Ventura for his show. We stood on the uh, levee of the Ninth Ward, and we talked about it. Uh, Piers Morgan of CNN, uh, who uh, presidential candidate Roseanne was just with, he called me on the air, a crackpot and crazy, for saying that uh, Obama was a third generation CIA operative, which is provable, and uh, that this government was behind the false flag operation of the BP oil spill, which I said there and was recorded and was broadcast with Governor Jesse Ventura on his show. The World Trade Center Molecular Dissociation of September 11, 2001, otherwise known as fall as 9-11, HARP is central to that Niigata earthquake of 2007. Again, go, go to ecologynews.com. This is a